Up ahead, we've got plenty more highlights from the liberal Sherpa. We'll revisit her defense of getting consent from babies before changing their diapers. Stay tuned. Sherpa edition of Tucker Carlson tonight. A pink haired sex educator in Australia recently declared that parents should seek consent from babies before changing their diapers. Otherwise, those babies could grow up to tolerate sexual assault. Well, of course, human babies can't consent to anything. They can't really do anything. They're babies. Doesn't matter. Kathy Rue thought it was a great idea. So, um, Consent for diaper changing from babies. This raises, yeah. le leaving aside whether it's a good idea, it raises, it raises the obvious practical question. Yeah. How would a baby give consent? Well, the idea isn't exactly, the baby's not exactly going to say yes or no, but she's saying give the baby a few moments, talk to the baby, say, is it okay I'm going to change your nappy? Because she's Australian, so that's how they um, say diapers. Yes. Can I you change your say nappy? That's an American baby. I don't think the confused. American baby would understand. But it's actually yeah. just teaching um, consent, what consent is. It's teaching bodily autonomy. It's teaching, hey, um, I'm not going to touch your body if you don't want me to. It's just like talking to a baby about anything. Mommy loves you. Daddy loves you. So people talk to babies right. all the time. So why wouldn't the concept of talking to a baby while doing something so serious as, you know, um, changing a diaper be so ridiculous? Sounds because quite Because you normal. don't typically expect a baby to respond in a way that you can understand. Again, how do you know what consent looks like? So let's just do a little role playing if we could. Role you be the baby, the I baby. be the parent. Okay. okay. And you're changing and my I diaper. Say, I'm going to make this change, mm -hmm. and you, how do you express your consent or lack of consent for that? Well, if I start crying, something's wrong, so you probably don't want to do anything at that moment because you wouldn't want to make diaper changing something that goes along with crying. You would probably want me to be in a healthy state of mind so that in the future, when it comes to those private things, I'd be in a healthy state of mind. I'd be a well-adjusted adult. So a well-adjusted baby would crying, be a well-adjusted adult. Wait, but maybe the child's crying because his diaper is dirty. Right, obviously, yeah. So, I mean, the parent would have to be the best judge of that, but I guess okay. if you would make me cry, if you asked me if I wanted you to and then I started crying, then maybe you should get a hint, take the hint. Are there, would it be like an eye gesture? Like, do they, <laughs> I mean, you're a mom. Do, do your kids... I mean, can you read their facial expressions and know it's that super, they're saying what they're saying? It's super healthy. Erickson said, uh, an expert, a baby expert, that from zero to two are the trust years. So during these trust years, you want the baby to trust you. So there's nothing wrong with talking to a baby and those situations, just teaching a baby how to trust. So this is a moment where you're teaching a baby to trust you. So I don't think the baby is expected to necessarily <laughs> give consent. You're just teaching the baby to trust you. You're asking, the a baby for bodily, you're asking the baby to express bodily autonomy. I think that's, that's the big point Right. Here. Babies yeah. don't, they're not super great at understanding English, in my experience of having a number of them. But this uh, is how know, they learn maybe English. Maybe other babies are more intelligent than mine were. But what but, if the child keeps saying no, like over a period of weeks, and you keep going in there, you know, I'd really like to change the diaper, but the child refuses to give me consent. At some point, that becomes neglect, right? And I, also nasty. I think it's the concept of teaching, teaching the consent, talking about it. During that moment, so many parents do not discuss it. And they, the babies grow up, and in the English language, they're not even used to talking about those things. So the concept <laughs> is teaching, t teaching trust. It's trust issues. But you don't really discuss anything years. with a baby. I mean, it's in the same you sense, discuss everything you may with talk a baby. to your dog, I'm but you touch don't your discuss arm. I'm with your this dog. I'm going to put this lotion on your arm. You talk about everything. I'm, I'm going to dress you. Parents talk to babies about, all day long. I'm going to cook dinner for you. What about a polio vaccine? Should you're, you or polio, you're gonna have a, smallpox? Yes, you're going to get a vaccine. Would, I mean, don't right? people have to give consent? That you can't give organs if you don't give consent, right? So if you have consent, even dead people can make decisions. Why can't babies? So from Dead birth people can to, make decisions? How do they do that? Well, you have to give consent to have the organs taken after you die. So... If you can give consent from a baby year to your death, people should always give consent if their body is going to be so, touched. Right. So if the child says, no, I don't want the baby indicates by crying or rolling his eyes, I don't I want think, a polio vaccine, then you just you just don't get him a polio vaccine. Then I think it's the the idea of discussing it with the baby. 
the consent, I don't think, is necessarily the issue. It's the idea. Oh. You're developing So trust. even if the baby says no, no doesn't really mean no, <laughs> is what you're saying. The baby can't talk during the diaper Right. Years, so with babies, so. no doesn't mean no. I, I totally get that. Where does the obedience part come in? Is there any part in the relationship with your child where the child learns to obey what you say? Or is it always kind of a, a, a give and take, a colloquy with a, with a mute person? This is, this is about conversation, talking to the baby. It's conversation. <laughs> it's not disciplining. It's, these aren't the discipline years. As, right. as child experts. Is there a point say. where the baby says, you know, mom, please stop talking. You just, you talk or too dad, much. Just go or ahead dad. and go ahead and change the diaper. I don't think most dads would go for this, but I mean, oh, okay. whatever, maybe, maybe dad, I don't know. Right. You know hey, right. parent, stop talking. Just go ahead exactly. and change it. I, I, I don't think these are the years that the baby would be able to respond, but it's just the getting the <laughs> concept of I'm touching your body. You have bodily autonomy. You should always have the right to say yes or no if someone's going to touch your body. And I'm going to teach that concept right now uh -huh. during the trust years, which is I like the concept that kids do what they're told. That's my favorite concept for kids. You just yeah. Sort of do, yeah, do what 